Friday. Happy Friday. Happy Friday to, to everyone. everyone. Happy, happy, yeah, happy Friday. Friday. It is Friday. So sing along. So let's all praise the Lord. Yay. <laughs> happy Friday, everybody. Friday. Can you tell we're excited about Fr Friday? Friday is free. Fun and free. You know what? I think everybody mm -hmm. should just take off this weekend. It's a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> that's fun mm. and we got I don't know if you can see because it looks like the sun is blaring there but we sat in a different spot tonight so that way you can see um, how pretty it is and this is what happens when we're good all day <laughs> what is? the shine oh <laughs> oh I don't know if I'd be saying that <laughs> yeah. especially when you read this chapter but <laughs> but um, hope you guys had a great day and a happy Friday and guess what you guys Today is Galatians 6, and guess what that means? The last book, chapter, chapter of the book. And I'm so proud of everybody. We have together read through five books, four books. One, two, three, four. Four books of the Bible together, you guys. So, high five. Yay. <laughs> yeah. yeah hi, Mom. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> All right. Well, All let's right. get your Friday going. That's right. It is 7.01. Woohoo! Galatians 6. Yes. Where you got anything at? Number two. 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 Two, two. Let's talk about two. Well, I like number two because I think it's just beautiful. Help each other out, bear each other's burdens, and we'll fulfill the law of Christ. Yeah. Which I'll is kind of funny because, you know, we're not supposed, it's not really the law, but it's the goodness of everything. Yeah, it's uh, it's different. It's the law, law of freedom, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, it has a... It has a different thing. If you love, it just fulfills it. So. Yeah. And it's doing good for others. That's cool. That's really cool. Yeah. Um, in verse 4, I have uh, talking about uh, each one's um, testing their own works. Mm -hmm. Not boasting themselves. But in a nutshell, what uh, 4 is saying, and I like this because John MacArthur picks out Matthew 7, <clears throat> 3, for five, 3 through 5 on this. And what he's talking about what Jesus said. It says... Um, not to try to pick out the speck in somebody else's eye, but try to, to fix the speck that's in your own eye first. Because we all have it. Yeah, and so um, before we go, you know, being a hypocrite towards somebody else, we need to work on our own life. And really, that goes a long ways. I mean, think about it. When we're living uh, right, it, it rubs off on other people. True. It does. And it's so, true. Like, even this. Just like when we're happy or sad, it rubs off on people. It does. Mm -hmm. It gives an atmosphere. It and, does. And so, like, even that with bearing somebody else's burdens. Yes. I mean, if we're doing that, people, that might catch on a little bit. Yeah. So. So That's cool. Good. I like that. Yeah. I had, to go along with you, um, the note I had, too, was believers first must be sure their lives are right with God before giving spiritual help to others. So, it goes right along with what you were saying. Oh, that is good. So, but, because yeah. that, that's a good one. Yeah. And then, um, uh, basically, that had to go with five, too, but. And um, what's your next one? Seven. Seven, I got it. I got number six. Oh, I think number six is very neat. <clears throat> and um, uh, I actually I actually wasn't sure what that meant until mm -hmm. I went and looked at it, um, some different uh, church fathers and things like that. But the bottom line to uh, number six is that we share all good things with the one who teaches. In other words, we don't forget our shepherds. Mm -hmm. And um, we always want to make sure they have the material things they need and take care of them um, so that they can keep their minds on teaching the word. Uh, we want them to stay burden free as much as possible because they already got so much on their minds. True. You know? And so we want them to stay burden free as possible when it comes to their needs so they can focus on us. You I know, like that. Sheep, so. That's pretty. Yeah. Now, my spin on it, though, when I read it, because <clears throat> you taught me a lot of this stuff in the Bible already as we read through it every year. Mm -hmm. And um, so as I learned... Ah. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. But as I learned stuff... I get excited, then you get excited seeing me get excited. Yeah. <laughs> so that's I how do. I took it. Yeah. <laughs> Bleh. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> uh, originally, I took it another way. I, th I thought to share all things, good things with, or the one who's taught the word to share all good things with the teacher. I was thinking at first, because there's another verse, and like, I think it was in the Hebrews we were just reading, that when we learn things, we should bring it to our pastor. That mm. way we stay on track. Oh. You know, because, but this one actually had to do with the material things. So. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Okay. Well, I had a note on seven. Do not be deceived. God is not mocked for whatever someone sows, they also reap. Mm. That's a big one. And I have to tell you, 
I didn't um, read this chapter until this evening, and boy, the day I had, it totally fit this chapter. So I was like, uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. But it was really neat how it really applied to everything for today. You, but um, you, you reap were, what you sow. You were reaping. <laughs> <laughs> so was I. <laughs> <laughs> You're silly. Yeah. And I had a note on nine. Um, I like this one. Let us not grow weary of doing good, mm-hmm. for in due season we will reap if we do not give up. Hmm? But just, I, I think this was very, just really encouraging. It is. It's pretty. It's very pretty. This, this uh, is so applicable. Mm-hmm. Um, and verse 10, I got, uh, oh, and then um, talks about doing good to everyone, but especially to those who are a household of faith. Christianity, okay, first of all, we are a household in Christ Jesus. Each and every one of us who have faith in Christ are a family. That's neat. We belong to the covenant mm-hmm. of Christ. And we want to make sure we're taking care of our members of our body first. I mean, the greatest example of, of taking care of your own first, you know, what what better witness? But um, You mean yeah. Jesus? Taking care of our... Oh, you mean that? Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, our family. Yeah, yeah. And so we are a big household of faith. We need to just look over and make sure, make sure our brothers and sisters aren't... Uh, Doing without and things like that. I like that. Well, because like we're supposed to look, make sure you know, because they always um, you know the verse better than me. But um, you know, take care of your household first before you go out and do everything else. But so, mm-hmm. like you said, our house is the whole brothers and sisters in Christ. That's the whole you know. So that mm-hmm. is our house. That's a guy like that. Yeah, that's yeah. a neat thought. Yeah, and um, and that I think what you were saying was like um, it says if a pastor isn't taking care of his own house first, yeah, and how do you know how to run a church? So I mean that applies to all of us. So if we, yeah. What you said. You know what you said. I like that. Yeah. What you said. What you said. What you said. You said times two. <laughs> okay. Now what's your next thing? I don't have one. Okay. So I just have a couple more things. Um, let's see. I don't know why I had that. Um, so we can skip that. That might have been a question I had. Um, and I think I'm just getting down to the bottom line. Um, I think it's neat here where Paul talks about um, that he bears... On him, the marks of Jesus Christ, mm. and a lot of things, a lot of people take that as a stigmata. But what it really is is he was beaten and whipped and thrown in jail and stoned. You know, Paul had it all, man. He, did. he was shipwrecked and everything bad could happen to Paul. And what he's saying is, for Christ, basically, and then he had like malaria and stuff too. He probably I mean, did. he had like every. He almost blind too, I think. Yeah, I mean, he's in pretty bad shape. And still, he finds his joy in God such mm. a, in a great way. And so, his witness of being who he is is more than just just spiritual but you can actually see the physical mm-hmm. effects and sometimes that's what it causes but in the end it's the joy of god that you know it's amazing so i wish i could cool. be like that me too i mean i don't want to be beaten stuff i'm just saying i wish i could have joy during bad times too yeah yeah i mean so, well yeah and so we're learning i'm yeah. learning <laughs> yeah me too so. well you guys i hope you have a wonderful weekend yep and i know you're probably stuck in the house but there's probably something Something fun to do around the house somewhere. Yep, and um, we actually have found a way to play games um, online together. Mm-hmm. Well, not online, but like video chat together, um, like kind of like a game of Boggle. Mm-hmm. So everybody that wants to play, let us shoot us a little message, and we'll be happy to play. It's really fun, and then we can all be together and play for a few minutes. Yeah, we can come up with different different games too. Like maybe we can even try to play Yahtzee or something like that, where. We all roll our things. I mean, obviously, you have to have your own dice. <laughs> <laughs> That's fun. But it's, there's, there's some fun stuff we can do together. That's right. Just to be yeah. together. But have a great weekend. We love you. Congrats and thanks for mm-hmm. um, sticking through that. It's so exciting that... Here we are on four, four books of the four Bible. Books. And um, that's exciting. So next week is James. Yeah, the book of James. And that's only five verses. So we'll have that chapters. done. We'll have that done next week. This week, you, blah, blah. Yeah. I'm so excited I can't talk, but we'll have that done next week, you guys. It's going to be great. So thank you for sticking with us, and we love you, and have a great weekend. Amen. Bye. Bye.